What's going on? A little bit of a different review today. Um, if you look back in the archives, you'll see I've done one on a couple of these mail order um, razors in the past. I'm trying to get some water hot over here. Today is going to be on the Dollar Shave Club razor. Now, apparently Instagram felt I needed a Dollar Shave Club razor more than I thought I needed one because they kept throwing ads in my way. And finally, I said, here, it's five bucks. Give me the thing. I want to see what was different. So years ago, um, water in this sink doesn't want to get hot. Years ago, uh, Dollar Shave Club would basically purchase razors from the Dorco company. And they were good. Yeah, uh, pretty decent. Now, I'm not a multi-blade cartridge fan by any means. Now, what that means is the you have multiple blades, more than one, inside of a cartridge. <clears throat> uh, some people call them cartridges or carts, what have you. And there was this announcement that, okay, so you could buy, you could go like Dorco USA and purchase the same exact thing that you could get on Dollar Shave Club's website. And for a while, it was almost the same price. So it just, you know, didn't really matter. Um, you sometimes could even get a better deal directly through the website. Well, this blade to me does not look like a Dorco razor. It might be. I haven't had any of theirs in quite a long time. But this thing has... See if I can count one, two, three, six or seven blades on it. Now this one's dirty because I tried it on a client on his head and it was freaking horrible. I did like three strokes on it and just said, forget it. So I'm going to take that off of there. We're going to disinfect and we're going to uh, the handle and we're going to put a new blade on there. Now in the $5 kit, you get... A silly little pamphlet that tells you how to shave your freaking scrotum. Um, I mean, and it comes with more packaging than anybody rightly needs. Come in a big box. Now, if this thing shaves well, I'm still not, you know, will not continue the membership. The reason why is it's pretty dang expensive now. So, and I, I don't know, actually, used to you could get multiple types of razor blades and everything, and multiple blade amounts. Now, this is the only one you could get. The starter pack comes with two. One I've already used. This is the last one remaining. And it comes with some different, you know, products. Now, in the past, I've used these products, and they work pretty good. So, this is shave butter. And then a post shave. I don't recall much about the post shave. All right, go to another sink. So I'm gonna get some better hot water here. Hundred year old building. Sometimes things don't work the way you hope they do. So the load. Yeah, lots of plastic to waste here. I mean, for two razor blades, I've got all this to throw away. So if you're environmentally conscious by any means, it's probably not the big brand for you. Ah, oh, that's nice and hot. All right. I'm going to step over here on frame. Wet my face around a little bit. Okay. Hey, let's try some prep scrub. Hey. Well, we're not going to do it that way. has a little foil seal on it. Of course, I find that out with the wet hands, right? Come on, get off there. It's almost like, remember, girls used to use this apricot scrub, apricot, apricot. Smells pretty good. I'm just kind of rub that into the beard. I'm going to pause this, rinse it off, come back, and we'll get going. All right, here we go. Put some in my mouth, huh? Doesn't taste good. Ugh. Anyway, clean towel here. So, now we're going to go to the shave butter. And we'll apply this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the razor under some warm water. To heat up the blade just a little bit. Eh, a little bit more. We'll see. Does it? I don't know if I like how this applies. Okay. Make sure I'm using this right. 
ingredients, caution. I mean, there's absolutely no instructions, so shh, we're winging it. Okay. Now, I don't have faith in this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. But we're going to see. Nice heated up blade here. You know, that's better than I thought. Much better than it happened than it was on the guy's head. Huh. Okay. Get down here to some thicker hair on this. Yeah, start to feel a little bit of tug and pull down here. I know really this hot water doesn't work. Mm, not horrible. Nothing like cold water going down your shirt. Uh, someone had a request to grow back the mustache. Sorry, gotta try again. That's well, annoying to hear. Ooh, burr. Yeah. Now, I guarantee you, I'm going to be bumped up tomorrow. In fact, I'm not going to post this yet. I'm going to wait a day or two to see what this looks like tomorrow. Now, this goes a few different directions. This kind of goes that way. It kind of goes down that way. So, let's go with the grain down here. Bring that up, however you want to go. This is going that direction. So, let's start with a clean blade. And that's one thing, too, that I can't stand about these multi-cartridge razors. They get so freaking clogged, man. Like, that's half your shave is cleaning this crap up. Who in the, this lighting makes my beard look white, almost. I don't have any gray here. I don't know what we're talking about. All right, that's starting to hurt in there. Of course, that's, it has a funky growth pattern. Let's see. It's important to kind of learn your growth pattern, guys. Um, spend some time, you know, let it grow out three or five days, whatever it takes, and start paying attention to that. Especially in areas where you may be having trouble. A lot of people are... A lot of people have this notion that you have to part your hair a certain way and then wonder why they have cow licks. And then when they come to, you know, somebody like myself that shows them hair actually goes this way and the cow lick goes away, you know. Same with shaving. Some people think you go down on the cheeks and up on the neck and then wonder why they have razor bumps. I mean, it's not always that simple. So, um, like I said, honestly, not a bad shave. I do feel a little bit of irritation right through here, a little bit. And, you know, what I don't kind of like about this is that was, I don't know how thick the beard was, but it was, uh, it, I would rather have, I should, probably should have taken down the trimmer first, um, to be fair. It wasn't, of course, it wasn't that thick. It didn't really pull or tug or anything majorly. Um, not from, you know, fill of that. But, so, let's take a close look here. Okay, let's see, I missed a spot right here. Or 12. I mean, I like more of a, what I call a beard reduction. And it may take two or three passes to get the shave where you want it to be. But it's, you know, you take, take down a little bit at a time. It, it allows for a much cleaner, much smoother shave, in my opinion. Um, versus, you know, throwing multiple cartridges on there and whipping it all off at one time. So, this is the post shave do. And we'll do see if it does anything. I'm sure it's gonna feel okay. A little more scented than I would like. We'll see how long it lasts though. Close in here. We'll hit this area right here again. 
Because how I leave this video is how I'm going to leave my neck. I know I kind of went against there a little bit. Going very, very light through there. So, that's that. I'll plug in next time. Do a quick little, not really a follow up, or I guess a follow up. See how that, uh, you know, how the irritation goes. Uh, if there is, it may not be any. I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, went in this not really thinking I was going to like the shave. I, I don't love it, no. But I can't really right now tell you anything that was like horrible about it. I'm not a fan of cartridge razors for a couple of reasons. Um, but, you know, to judge this shave based off of this feel alone, it's okay. So, till next time. Alright, real quick update. It's been a few days since the shave with the dollar, um, what's that thing called? Dollar Shave Club, DSC. So... You see, no, really have no irritation or anything at all. Um, it did pretty well, even when I went back over these areas right here. So it did pretty well, left me with no irritation. I was actually surprised, pleasantly surprised. Um, I may try another shave or two with it, but still, like, I'm not a fan of it. Also, I find it ridiculously expensive now. They used to be pretty, you know, affordable. But like four cartridges, I want to say is $20. I'm not sure what else may come with that. Um, but I ain't got time for that. So not going to do that. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.